Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will check the brand new final release of Linux Mint Debian Edition 4 codename Debi. Shall you upgrade from LMDE 3 or migrate your Linux Mint to Linux Mint Debian Edition 4? Let's check this out. Download. To download the installer Browse to linuxmint.com, then choose Download and select LMDE4. Now you can choose between you can choose what kind of machine you have. I have a 64-bit machine, and now you can download the ISO file from the Miro server. I recommend to choose a mirror close to your location. After you download, your download is complete. You can either start in a virtual machine like I did, or you use a flash tool like Azure to create a bootable device. Storage consumption in gigabyte after installation. I updated my installed Linux Mint 4 beta to the stable release. So on this point I recommend you to check my LMDE4 beta video regarding installation process. Now, on my device there are 5,5 GB reserved for the installation of LMDE4. This is less than other distributions with GNOME or KDE. So I think it's a very good value, well done guys. Desktop and general. Cinnamon 4.4.8 is still the current release of the Cinnamon desktop. Since the beta preview, some smaller updated updates on the Mint tools were shipped out besides some regular Debian security updates. Beyond that, you won't receive many upgrades as it is typically on a Debian stable based system. You can expect in general Debian security updates and Cinnamon upgrades from time to time. Pre-installed software. Now let's check. We are running kernel 4.19.0-8. We have Firefox 68.6.2. We have Thunderbird 68.6.0. Whoops, <laughs> my mistake, I'm sorry. So now it's better. We are still running since the beta the same version of LibreOffice. Let's check 6.1.5.1. And now <coughs> let us check what kind of software is pre-installed on the system. Here we choose all applications. And now as I scroll through the list. And there is not much unnecessary software pre-installed. I only found HexChat and think the typical desktop user won't need it. But besides that, nothing major to report. This is good news and points to a minimal pre-installed software decision. I think it's a good job. Main memory consumption. During my test I saw there were approximately 690 megabytes used. So I closed Firefox and we see we are well, there's a little bit more it's nearly 800 and megabytes, but okay, I think this is um, a good value for a modern looking cinnamon desktop. So I think that's nothing to worry. Conclusion. The final LMDE 4 release is a very solid cinnamon desktop with stable Debian base. It is a very stable and solid Linux desktop in general. Who likes Cinnamon and to whom the regular Linux Mint edition is shipping too many upgrades, there is a very good 
in-house opportunity for you. But keep in mind, with LMDE4 you cannot use PPA software repositories. If you already use Debian Stable with Cinnamon 3 and thinking of switching to LMDE4, you must decide by yourself if a newer Cinnamon release is worth the demand of migration. LMDE4 passed my test very successful. You can expect a modern Cinnamon desktop on a very, very solid Debian base. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to push the thumbs up button and also please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and see you soon.